Alright, good afternoon. This is Thursday afternoon class. We will start in about five minutes. Okay, hopefully there will be no technical difficulty today. So far my computer is working fine. So hope for the best. It will keep working like so for the next uh, 45 minutes to the hour. Alright. We have about five minutes before we get going. Perfect. Uh, today's session, you need you need some kind of weight. I will use a rock, but if you have a dumbbell, kettlebell, any kind of weight, or you have, um, you can use a book. You can use a bag of rice or potato. Anything that have some weight, then in, you can use those ones. But if you don't want to use any weight, you can do the exercise body weight if you want. There's an option as well. So get your stuff together and then get ready. And yes, equipment that you need is the weight. That's what you need. But it's a good idea to have water bottle and towel close with you so that you don't have to go in the kitchen to get some water. All right. We have a little bit of time. And once the time comes, I will explain the exercise. Oh, right. Good. A couple more minutes. And I will explain the exercise, but if you have any question or Concern, request for the exercise, please leave in the comments and we will read the comments and then try to um, reflect your opinion to our workouts. Oh, right. Oops. Seems like it's still working. That's good news. Um, I will explain the full workout later, but I will describe. An easy workout plan is we have full exercise. You have, and then you will do three set, uh, three sets. But each set or each round, you will do different repetition of the exercise. So you just need to remember full exercise, and then we will do three rounds, and then that's it. So first round we will do thirty repetition, and second round is twenty repetition, and the last round is ten repetition. So we start hard and then go down easier. So, try to survive the first round, and it's, you know the second one will be easier than the first one. And just keep moving, and then you will get to the third round, and then it's done. So, we have a little bit more time. We'll wait until we get time. Three, then we'll get going. Um, if you're from... CFB Shiloh, uh, GSH is open, the gym is open now, but you need to book ahead of time to get into the gym, so please go to the website and then check how to get into the gym and how the schedule works, like detail will be explained in the website, so, alright, so yes, we're back in work in Manitoba, or like Shiloh. Okay, so two more minutes and we'll get going. Again, today's exercise, you need some kind of weight. I will use a backpack or rack. And if you have a dumbbell, kettlebell, you can use those weights. Um, if you don't have anything in your house to make it as an extra weight, then you can do a body weight as well. And most of uh, all the exercises are standing so well there's one plank exercise so if you want to have a mat you can use a mat for your knee that's your option all right i was a little bit worried that it's, it was thunder outside so i was like oh maybe a little bit loud but now it stopped so it's just cloudy i thought it's going to be rainy but it's not it's just cloudy Oh, right. Ooh. 
Okay, it's about three, so let's get started. Uh, my name is Yuko. I'm a fitness and sports instructor at CFB Shiloh. Today's session is total body circuit. And as I explained, you need some kind of weight for the equipment. And for the plank, if you want to have some kind of mat under your knee, then you can grab the yoga mat close to you. And the duration, they're aiming for 45 minutes. We might get a little bit longer as we do the cool downs, but 45 minutes is the aim. And the music. My side, I will not play any music, but if you have a favorite workout music, please play at your side. And before we get going, I will read the disclaimer. In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platform, the virtual fitness class tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and their physical fitness levels are unknown. And it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercise presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If CAF members sustain an injury during this video, Please remember to fill out a CF-98. Alright, so as I explained um, before, today's exercise we have three sets. Uh, of, of, uh, we have four exercises, you will do three sets, but each set you will do different repetition. So four exercises are bend over row, single leg deadlift, plank pass under, and side shuffle. Okay, so I will show you how be done. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. Yes. Alright. So first one, bend over row. So if you have a dumbbell or kettlebell or weight, you can use the bend over row with the weight. So make sure when you're oh when you do the bend over row, nice and make sure back is nice and upright. Light uh, slight bend at your knee, hinging from hip. So make sure you're not hinging from your back. Make sure back is keep it straight, hinge from hip, like so. Movement is like arms straight, come up to your ribcage, and go back down. So with the weight, you would do nice and upright, hinge from hip, nice and straight back, shoulder down, look slightly forward, and bring your weight to your chest, and extend. Bring up, and down. Like if you go from center, from here, like so, and up, and down, up, and down. If you have, um, if you only have one dumbbell, you're doing this single arm bend over row. You can do that way. So the first set will be 30 repetition. So you, if you're two arms together, do 30 together. But if you only do single arm exercise, then you will do 15. And switch to the other side, and then do 15. So bend over row is the first one. Second one is a single leg deadlift. So single leg deadlift, movement wise, it's kind of similar hip hinge. So nice and upright, you're balancing one leg, hinging from hip, and lean forward. Make sure you're not rounding your back. You're not bending from your back. Keep your head to your toe, one straight line. Hinge from hip, back straight, and come back up. So when you come up, focus on your glutes to come back up, instead of using your back to come up. So with the weight, you will do. So nice and upright, nice and balanced, and hinge forward, and come back up. Hinge forward and come back up like so. So it's a single leg exercise, so you will do 15 one side and then do 15 the other side for the first set. Second set will be the 20 repetition total, so 10 10. Last set will be the 10 repetition total, so it's going to be 5 5. So single leg that left is a number two. Number three is a plank pass under. So you have a nice and good plank position. Hopefully you can see. Yes, there you can see. From here, you will reach to your right hand, lift, and then reach to your left side. Pull the weight to your right side. Switch to the other side. So pull the weight to the other side. 
So reach under and move the weight. So from here, so reach under and move, reach under and move. So when you're moving your weight, try not to shift your hip too much to help you move. So try to keep your nice and flat plank as you're moving the weight. So it's going to be one, two, three. That's how you're going to count. And last one is a side shuffle. If you need a marker in your ground, you can put weight or yoga mat or water bottle or something to help you read the distance. <laughs> so you will slight bend at your knee. So you go side shuffle. That's one. And you're going to the side shuffle. Two. Basically moving side to side. It's like crab walk. So you're going side shuffle, side shuffle, like so. So total you will do 30 side shuffle for the first one, and then 20 for the second, and 10 for the last. So that's the full exercise. And as I said, first set will be first round. First set is going to be 30 repetition total. Second set, it will be 20 repetition total. And last set will be 10 repetition in total. If you have a question, concerns, please leave in the comment. Hopefully I can read it. I will poke my head and hopefully I can read the comments. So, that's the exercise. Um, shuffle, if you don't like sliding shuffle, shuffle. You can do the skater instead. If that's more comfortable for you to do, then you can change it to the skater. So, let's start with the warm up. So let's find a good spot and then do the leg swing. So front and back leg swing. Whoop. Hopefully I'm in space. And switch to the other leg, front and back. Alright, so now front and side and side. And switch to the other leg. Good. So now walking knee hug. So grab your knee and come back down. Grab your knee and come back. If you have a space, just walk and then grab your knee and then walk and then grab your knee. So now do the hip rotation, so go up, and go out, and switch to the other side. Go up and out, switch to the other leg, up, out, and then up, out, up, out. Hopefully, the, today I have to count the repetition, so it's like hopefully I will not forget to count. Otherwise we're going to keep going for quite some time. So now we go ahead inside, so out and back in for the hip rotation, come back in, so out, and come back in, so out, come back, out, and in, out, back in, what do I have, out, back in, one more, out, back in, last one, do I still have it? No, let's do one more, good, so now walking quad stretch, grab your ankle, switch, grab your ankle, Little bit light stretch. Walking stretch. Good. So now the butt kick. So lift your heels up, kick back. Make your leg ready to do some balance. And then shuffle. That will be the main part for the leg. All right, good. So now the leg, oh no, 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 not legs. <laughs> hamstring sweep. So one leg forward and nice and upright hinge from hip. Sweep and reach down and stretch a little bit hamstring. Switch your leg, lean forward and switch your leg. If you have enough space, just keep walking forward. So one leg forward, reach down. One leg forward and reach down. Couple more. 
There we go. There we go. And a little bit of shoulder circle. And the other way. And going up and down. Up, down, up, down. And now in and out, open and close. Make sure switch the top arm each time. One more. There you go. Good. Let's do the inchworm to the thoracic rotation. What should I go? This side. Should I go? So go down, reach down to the ground, and then reach out to the plank for the inchworm. Now step forward and thoracic rotation. And come back, hands back, feet back, push back to the stand. Switch to side. Reaching down, out to the plank, switch to side, rotate, and come back, push back, and come back. Go down, and step, rotate, back, back, push back. One more. Go down. Step forward. Rotate. Then back. Then back. And push back. Alright. So, I have a, mm, three things. Three, mm, three, yes. Yeah. Uh, movement preparation. So, go down to the ground. We will do a little bit of bridge. Bridge hold. To do some activation and glutes. And then we'll do a single leg hip hinge, and then do the hinge and a row movement. So go down to the ground, and let's do the bridge. So when you do a bridge, squeeze your glutes, lift your bums up, make sure knees are not go outside or inside. Make sure knees are straight from your hip, and go back down. Lift your hips up, squeeze your glutes, and come back. If you feel in your back. Come down, lower your hips, focus on your squeezing glutes, and go down, and up, and come back down, and up, down, and up and hold. And down. Good. So now come up to single leg balance. So single leg hip hinge. So you're balancing with one leg. Imagine, you, well, if you need it, you can have a stick on your back to help you keep it straight line. So as your head go down, your legs come up. So let's do the balance. So one leg balance, nice and tall, nice and upright. You're reaching up or side anywhere your arms wanted to go. And come back down. So reaching forward and balance. Make sure to keep a good, nice balance. And come back. So pay attention to your alignment since you don't have any weight right now. So it's easier to focusing on your balance and move from your hip. Keep your back long. As your head go down, the leg come up. One more. And switch the side. So the other leg, same thing. So nice and tall, nice and upright. Make sure your heads are going that way, the legs are going behind. Nice and long, nice and tall. And also keep the balance, open your toes. Make sure you're not inside over your foot or outside of your foot. And make sure you're not going sideways. Make sure hips and shoulders are parallel to the ground. Back one more. Good. So last one for the preparation is the hinge and row movement pattern. So before we actually lifting the weight, so make sure nice and good hip hinge. So nice and soft knee. Bend from your hip, so your back is not changing the alignment. From here, your arms are right below your shoulder, and lift your arms up, and come back down. Go up, and down. So when you go up, make sure you're not rounding your back. Keep it down, and straight back. Look slightly forward, not look down, slightly forward, but not look up. <laughs> so, a couple more. So that's the movement preparation for the bend over row. And good. Alright, so 
that's the warm up. So let's get started. So if you need a sip of water, have a sip of water. Wrist and ankle, since we have a side shuffle, might be a good idea to do. All right, so before we get going, okay. So if you have any question or if you need a modification, please leave it in the comment. Hopefully I can see there's a comment that I can uh, answer back to you. So, first one, 30 repetition of bend over row. Get ready. Hopefully I will not forget to count. All right, get ready. And set. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice and upright. One, two, three, four. If you do a single arm, halfway done. Switch your side. If you're single arm exercise right now, wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. There you go. That's thirty, 30 right? Yes. Twenty? No, that's thirty. Hopefully, I'm counting right. <laughs> so now, the next one is 15, 20. No, 10 more, isn't it? 5, 20. No, that's 30. <laughs> now, go to the single leg deadlift. So you you can do two arms together, or you can do one arm for the weight, inside or outside. That's your choice. So 15 and 15. Hopefully, I will focus on counting so I will not forget. <laughs> single leg deadlift. Ready? Set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One. Two, three, four, and fifteen. Switch your leg. Woo, woo. Ready? So make sure you're nice and high, nice and upright. You don't have to go low. Like if you low, but your legs just stay there, then that's not good. So if you can go low to keep up, and then also keeping a good alignment and balance. If that's what you can go, that's perfectly okay. So, ready for the other leg? 15, ready, set, and go. One, two. If you're struggling with the balance, you can do without the weight to start with. Four. So that makes it a little bit easier to learn the movement pattern. That's five, yes? Six. And seven. Eight, nine, eight, ten. Five more. So when you go down, make sure you're not rounding your back. Keep your back chest up. Last five. One, two, three, four. Last one. Five. Woo, that's fifteen. There you go. Catch your breath now. Uh, plank pass under. So get in the plank position. If you if your weight doesn't slide well in your ground, you can do it instead of the sliding the weights left and right. Option is you can do a plank chest tap instead of the dragging left and right. So you go plank and then do chest tap, chest tap, chest tap. That's the option. All right. 30 plank pass under. Whew. Hopefully I'll not miscount. Alright. Get ready. Oh, and then also, if you get tired 
Or if you can't keep the good form, come down to your knee and keep the nice good form engaging your core. You're not doing triangle to move the weight. You're keeping the plank. So, 30 plank pass under. Ready? Set. And go. One. Two. Three. Keep going. <laughs> Maybe this will be better. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Last 10. Ooh, one. Ready? Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try to keep it low. It's I can see myself and then it's like I'm going up and down, up and down. So try to fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, Whew. now you can have a break, Whew. get some more, get some water, get some breath, and the hardest part is done. So next round is 20 repetition in total. Some of the excess, you only do 10. So that's the good part. So in previous one, if you cannot do the pass under from your toe throughout your 30, uh, for the 20, so this round, try to do it from your toes. So you can keep balance, like nice and tight, strong core, and try to do the pass under 20, or chest tap 20, without breaking down to your knee. All right, are you ready? I learned if I put um, backside down to the ground, it's easier, like the waistband is not hitting my, my face, so it's a little bit easier to move around. All right, so first one, back to bend over row. 20 bend over row, so nice and, um, nice and back straight, pinch from hip, make sure, make sure you're not rounding your back when you're lifting, keep your shoulder down, squeeze the middle of the shoulder blades, bring your elbow close and then squeeze your shoulder blades together without shrugging your shoulder, keep your shoulder down, squeeze shoulder blades together. Ready, so 20 bend over rows, ready, set, so hinge from hip, and good, one, Two, three, maybe I will do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. If you do a single arm, switch to the other side. It might be a little bit too heavy to do one side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's twenty. That's easier, right? All right. So the 
now going to the single leg deadlift. Whichever the leg you want to start with. Pick, pick the one leg. You can do one side of the weight. Or you can do two sides of two hands holding the weight and come back down. That's your choice. So do ten, one leg, ten, the other leg. Alright, get ready. Ready. And I will go this side. Set. I gotta go this side then. And go. One. Oh, it's gonna be touching around too soon. I gotta hold the different spot. Keep going. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So when you come back, focus on your glutes. Eight. Come back. Nine. Last one. And ten. And switch the side. Switch your leg. And one. Two. Three. Maybe I wish you would switch the side. Good to you. There you go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. There we go. And plank cuts under. So 20 repetition plank pass under. Nice and good core. Nice and upright. Shoulder down. And 20 total. Get ready. Ready? Sit. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. So it's way easier than first set. All right. Hopefully your technique is proficient so you can keep the good form for 10 repetition. That's the goal. So you want to move full range as much as possible with the control. Make sure you're when you do a bend over row. Make sure you're not dropping the weight. Make sure you're nice and controlled. It's not momentum up, but it's a control up. Focus on your back muscles, squeeze, and control down. And control up, and down. Make sure you're not um, shrugging your shoulder, or rolling your shoulder when you go, get to the bottom. When you can roll your shoulder, but before you move, you wanna sit your shoulder back in, and move your weights. All right, last one, last set. Whew. So bend over row, single leg deadlift. Plank pass under and side shuffle. 
And that's it. Only 10. So it's pretty fast. Okay. Okay. My puddle, sweat puddles is getting sweaty everywhere. But all right. 10 bend over row. I'm going to switch the direction this time. So nice and straight back. Nice and engaged core. Shoulder down and in. Slight uh, soft knee. So it's not locked knee. Soft knee. All right. 10 bend over row. Ready? So nice and full range with the control. Set. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Woo. And single leg deadlift. Only five and five. So try to keep the balance. Nice and good balance. Make sure you're not leaning to the side as you go down. You want to keep your shoulder hips square. Hinge from hip and knee forward. My right side of the knee and the ankle is in not perfect balance, but you want to keep your knee and ankle toe and nice and good alignment. So your knees are not outside of your ankle. You want to keep it right top of your ankle. So, single leg that left. What are you doing? All right, five and five. Ready? Focus on your form and focus on your muscle group. So focus on your glutes, the so glutes and hamstring on your balance on leg. That's two, three, and four. One more, five. Switch your leg. One, two. Now the plank pass under. Uh, what did I say? I'll go this way is easier for me. <laughs> Alright, so keep the nice and good plank, shoulder down, nice and tight core, pass under or chest up if you want. For 10 repetition. Ready. Set. Nice and set shoulder. My hands are a little bit sweaty, it's sliding. <laughs> if you need to go down to your knee, please go down to your knee. And go. Nice and tight core, nice and good form, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Side plank done, uh, not side, pass under, done. Last one, ten side shuffle. And we're done. So, ready? Make sure you're nice and low, nice and fast, left and right. Oh, if you want to do skater, you can do skaters. Ready? 10 repetition. Ready? Set. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and 10. There we go. That's a nice and quick one. Nice work. Good job. Whew. If you have water bottle, tears, nice work. Yeah, that's the three sets. If you're looking for more challenge and then uh, challenge or different type of exercise or variation of exercise, you can do similar thing in pyramid. So we start from high repetition, go down, and then you can go up again. So if you want, so we did 10, so we can go back to 20 and 30, and then finish. So that would be the other way to make it exercise a little bit harder. Or instead of doing four exercise, you can do five exercise or six exercise, and that makes your exercise a little bit more difficult and a little bit more longer. So. But great job. Whew, let's do now we're cool down. Not so fast. So take a big breath in. 
Inhale. And take a big breath in. Inhale. One more. Take a big breath in. Inhale. Good. So let's do the shoulder stand. Since you're standing, shoulder stretch. So arms cross over and stretch your shoulder. Switch to the other side. And let's do the chest stretch. So your hands behind, push back, and lift a little bit until you feel the stretch on your shoulder and chest. my elbow too but yes you will feel and hold on sometimes all right and hands front push it forward stretch your upper back Let's do the lower body stretch. So let's go down to the ground. Or you can do the standing quad stretch. Hopefully you can see my... There you go. And quad stretch. So bring your top knee close to the bottom one. And then try to align your shoulder, hip, and knee as a one line. And stretch your quads. Switch to the other side. So when you do static stretches, hold it 20 to 30 seconds. If you can hold it longer than 30 seconds, that's more beneficial. You'll get more benefit out of doing the stretch. So if you're only holding for 10 seconds, not really getting the benefit out of doing the stretch. So hold your stretch a little bit longer, and then it's good to do static stretch after exercise or after some kind of activity so your body and the muscles are um, smooth and relaxed and a little bit higher temperature. Not too high, but higher temperature. <laughs> and relax. And let's do modified herder a stretch. Oh, this is going to be hard to see, but one leg forward, one leg behind. So one leg forward, one leg. Hold on. There. <laughs> I have space a little bit more. So one leg forward, one leg back. How far back? That's your choice. And um, move, rotate your hips towards the front leg. Nice and tall, nice and upright. Imagine you have a string from your hand. Hangs from hip and lean forward. You're stretching the front side of your leg. Yes, again, if you're from Shiloh and then uh, if you're looking for a place to do exercise, our gym, GSH, is open. You just need to book ahead of time to get in. But we're open. Some of the machine is moved, like, so it might be not exactly the same layout in the weight room and the cardio room, but there is some options, so. And relax and come back and switch the other leg, other leg forward. So stretch leg behind, out one forward. Make your hips, hip or toward to the front leg. And sit upright, hinge from hip, lean forward. But you're not rounding your, your back. You're stretching your hamstring. And sometimes a little bit calf, but yes, you're stretching your hamstring. Slightly come back out. Ooh. Let's do the QL quarter eight lumbar stretch. So one leg 
in one leg out and you're and I'm reaching towards the extended side so you can reach like so or you can reach like so that's your choice whichever is comfortable for you if it is your me that feels comfortable to reach then that's where you're gonna reach if you feel comfortable reaching towards your ankle reach your to towards your ankle so that you can stretch the side the opposite side of the front leg uh, your back or side of the back and another the hip Slowly come back out and switch to the other side, other leg in, and reach forward to this extended side. If your knee's coming up like my right leg, try to push down a little bit down so that you actually can stretch your cue up, your back, side of the back. Come back out and then let's do the butterfly stretch. So both feet are together. Make sure you're nice and upright. And if you need to push your knee down a little bit, you can push your knee down. This stretch is my nemesis. I can't, I, at this stretch, I can feel stretch and I can stretch pretty well. But this one is a hard one. <laughs> So if you feel comfortable, you can lean forward, so like your head towards your ground. You feel a little bit more stretch in your adductor. For me, this is this is enough. <laughs> stretch on the wall. So, uh, child pose. So you shift it, hips back, and reach your hand forward. So you're stretching your upper back. Maybe it's your lower back, depending on where it's tight. Now reach a little bit to your right side. So you're stretching your left side of your body. Now come back to the middle. Going to your left side. So you're stretching your right side of your body. against the wall calf stretch. So I make back, make sure heels are down and make sure your um what is it? Heels and toes are facing the same direction. And feel the stretch in your calf. If you don't, step a little bit far back and try to push your heels down to the ground. Switch to the other leg. So try to push your heels down. Oh, my right side is tight. Not, not never, but it's literally happened. I finished in 45 minutes, exact. Good job, good job, everyone. Like, you're finishing 45 minutes, yay! And that's all for today. Well, thank you for coming. 
to the workout. Um, as far as I know, I'll be back in next week. So I will see everyone next week. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or requests for like what kind of workouts, then you please leave them in the comments. Um, if you come from a different base, please leave in, in the comments say, Hi, I'm so-and-so from so-and-so. Where? So-and-so? Like, so please leave in comments so there will be a little bit more engagement through the audience. Um, other than that, I'm, good job everyone. And that's all for today. Thank you for coming. And my name is Yuko. I'm from a uh, sports, fitness and sports instructor at the City of Shiloh. And see you everyone next week. Have a good day.